Snap 6 Mani, the Black Ops Master. Model Warfare 3 for him was such a disaster. Yeah, I'm hilarious. Consistently, nah, but I'm explainative. Hey everyone, it's Nav6 Man from YouTube, Nav6 Man from PSN, Nav Man Anywhere, The Manic Everywhere. The gameplay you're watching right now is from Submander Gameplays. Uh, it's hosted by Mr. Prachabi Gaming. Continuing on with the subject, it is the new Apple products that have just released the iPhone 5, the iPod Nano 7th generation, and the iPod Touch 5th generation. I guess I'm gonna start off with the iP uh, iPhone 5 right away. Because it, it's like the most important. I feel like Apple is going to make money off of this. So they probably will start with the iPhone 5. Okay, so it has a fresh, fresh, fresh look to it. The black, the new black of it looks so clean and awesome. It's not even funny. It looks beautiful. And the white, yeah, I guess I'll wait, you know. Before, I wish I had a white iPod Touch 4, but I have an iPod Touch 3, that's black. But, now that I've seen the iPhone 5 black? Oh my goodness! I'll leave links in the description for you all, since I don't think I can, like, leave pictures and all that stuff. Okay, let's move on with the iPod Nano 7. The completely re nanoed iPod Nano. So, basically, it's like a... An iPod Touch Mini. With cool colors, there's pink or purple pink, black or gray or dark gray, uh, silver chromish, light blue, I maybe said that already, light green, like a forest or like a tic tac mint, like that green mint, that kind of green, yellow gold trying to appear, the volume butters, buttons look gold, and pink, pink looks cool, uh, you know. Flashy man, flashy. Werewolf man. Okay, let's see. So, it says new body, same soul as the design. It's the same size as the credit card. Just 5.4 mm thin. It's a 2.5 multi touch display. This is where I'm having a little problem here. There's a home button too, I think. So, like, it's the iPod Nano. First of all, I think the fifth gen was the best one. Had a video, camera, you could even play games with it. And it had a wheel. It felt like a nano. Now it's like a iPod Touch. It's not unique anymore. It's not original. Even though it's the same company, it's messed up now. It's not the same. It's just not the same. Like, you know what I mean? Like, even if it's the same company, it's still like... Like, they're just changing products now. And like, I don't even think it has Wi-Fi for goodness sakes. I mean, if you're gonna make a fake iPod Touch, at least one in YouTube with some Wi-Fi. Really, man? Whoa, man. They're making new... They created a new EarPod headphone. Those look cool, though. Those look cool. I'll say that. I'll say that. Okay. Enough. I, I just... Uh, engineered for maximum funness. The iPod Touch 5th gen. Okay, so this is also in cool colors. The yellow looks the same as the iPod Nanos. The pink looks the same as the iPod Nanos. The white looks the same as last year. The blue looks the same as iPod Nano, but it looks so nice. The black iPod Touch is not a black iPod Touch. It's a dark gray. I'm not... It, it doesn't look appealing at all to me. It, it really doesn't. Oh, but I see, I see something. You know how the iPod Touch 4... The white one was not an iPod Touch 4S or 4 Plus or the next one. It was the same thing as the first iPod Touch 4 that released. That was in black. It's, it was just painted over. Okay, so you know the iPod Touch 4 has a camera. And I don't believe it had like a black bar on the top right of it. iPod Touch 3 had a black bar there. I think it was for better Wi-Fi connection. But now it has a black bar. What I'm thinking is... Are we going to get better speeds? Or or am I at least going to get something to rub? Because the iPod 4, I, I didn't get that. But like, I do have iPod Touch 3. And it's fun to like, it's so smooth to rub. That's what she said. But um, you know what I mean, it feels cool. So they combine them both with LED, I LED on an iPod Touch. And did I tell you, I already read this before, but Siri, 
I'm serious. Siri is on the iPod Touch 5 or 5th generation. Siri! Okay. iOS 6 is going to come on just like the iPhone 5. And I don't know about the iPod Nano. I don't know about their updates. <laughs> And there's a loop for it that you could put a lanyard in and that sounds cool because I remember one being on my PSP before. I mean, not before, it's still there. I'm just saying like before in time they made that. But this is cool. 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 Oh, there's, I think there's a light green color too. Ooh, it can capture 1080p HD videos. Oh my goodness, a dual core A5 chip from iPhone 4S is on the iPod Touch. Oh, that's cool. That is really cool. Now, that, yeah, that is, that is something. That is something. Um, uh, iPhone, oh, let me just tell you about the price of iPod Touch. Okay. So, they're not making an 8GB model or a 16GB but I think they're making a 16, yep. They're not making an 8 gigabyte model or a 16 gigabyte model for the 5th gen. But they're not decreasing the price of the 32 gig and 64 gigs. Meaning 32 costs, um, uh, I just had it in my head, oh yeah, $300. And, uh, 32 costs 300 64 cost 400 see now those are heavy heavy prices yeah th that's a lot of money that's that's forcing it apple you should have just made a 60 gigabyte version for those people that have bought your products before for goodness sakes for goodness you're you're not gonna make i don't think you're going to make as much as money but you know it's it might just end up like cod like marketing schemes COD has such a large fan base, they don't have to do anything, like, about the community. But they can too, but, like, they don't have to. People are still going to buy their game, and they're going to make money. Will this end up like that? Will this end up like that? You know, hopefully not. That'd be, like, horse. That'd be not good. I wouldn't like that. You wouldn't like that. We wouldn't like that. Everybody wouldn't like that. Uh, speaking of stuff we don't like, this iPod Nano, <laughs> I'm just kidding, but this iPod Shuffle looks cool. <laughs> I just like all the colors. I don't think there's a new version, but it just looks cool. What's voiceover? That, can they tell me what voiceover is? 2 gigabyte storage capacity, are you serious? 15 hours of battery life is pretty nice. 2 gigabytes of storage compatibility. I'm just getting capacity. Hundreds of songs. My first football freshman. No, no, no. My first junior varsity game is on Monday. If you want to know. <laughs> Random facts for my fans if you're still watching this. So that means since you watched the. Like, up to here, you deserve that random fact. That's kind of cool. Okay. And if you did hear that random fact, I would like you to tell me in the comments. <laughs> oh, I just like having fun. Okay. This this looks cool. It looks cool. It looks cool. It looks cool. It looks cool. But you know what else looks cool? The iPad. <laughs> okay, now I'm just having fun here. Let's go back to the iPod Nano. The re nanoed iPod Nano. And as I said, it's not original. It's just like, like a product itself should not be like the same product or relatively or getting really close to another product um like i think some per one person said the ipod nano 6 was perfect because it was square and it had a touch screen and right now i just want to like slap on the face what were they talking about why have a touch screen on an ipod nano what's the original uniqueness of it and square man how many times are you gonna lose that thing how many times are you going to lose that thing? The new iPod Nano, yeah, you, you'll probably lose it less if you lost your sixth a lot. But this seventh, you'll lose less. But still, it's so freaking unique. It's unoriginal. It's it's like iPod Touch Mini. Speaking of minis, I think they're gonna release an iPad Mini soon. Um, uh, I keep having fun. This stinking thing. 
uh, the video, the small big screen. See, Apple, that is a horrible, but their marketing schemes, the way they use their words kind of attracts you to them. But believe me, don't get attracted unless it's something you want to be attracted to. Like an iPod Touch, you could be attracted to that. It's just a price. There's no 16 gigabyte model, while the fourth generation is getting a 16 gigabyte model. That's stupid. Well, I don't know when they got that 16 gigabyte model, but I'm just saying, like, it's it's the lowest right now, and it's two hundred dollars, which that price is cool. But they should have made the fifth gen the same way, 16 gigabyte, uh, for two hundred dollars for, and then it would make more money. You know what I mean? They'll make more money. It would have helped a lot. Oh, iPod Nano now has Bluetooth. It had to take seven generations for that to happen. Radio and alternative. Wait, who cares what that? The ear pods, like I said before, look cool. They look cool. I have to try them to know how they work because the picture itself is hard to understand if you know what I mean. It's like an awkward, awkward way of showing what they're trying to show you. Or maybe it's just like that. They're just both different. I don't know. It's just something I need to do first. What's a lightning connector? Making iPod Nano thinner required a bold move. Quoted from the Apple.com website. Replacing the 30 pin dock connector with something newer, smaller, and better. It's called lightning. And it's significantly more durable than the 30 pin connector. It's also reversible, so there's no wrong way to plug in the cable. If you have an iPod Nano accessory that depends on the 30 pin connector, you can still connect it to your iPod Nano with the, 30, uh, with the lightning to 30 pin adapter sold separately. Though with more and more accessories adding wireless capabilities through Bluetooth technology, thankfully cords and cables needn't be a concern. And that whole thing was quote like I quoted from the Apple.com, the official Apple.com, Apple website. Why am I saying dog off work? <laughs> and it has Nike Plus like before. Photos. I don't know if it had that before. I think it did. Pod. I don't care about podcasts. iTunes. It's always there. It's always there. Accessibility, I guess that's cool. I like the red red products. That's cool. Um, I like the color and the the project. Well, first of all, the iPod Touch, you know, red is nice. It's like they put the white in front and then red behind. It looks so nice. It says, when you buy a product, red iPod Touch, iPod Nano, or iPod Shuffle, Apple gives a portion of the purchase price to the Global Fund to fight AIDS in Africa. Now, it's cool. It's cool. I like it. But, you know what I mean. It's cool. Looks so nice. I like the message. But the thing is, it's just, I don't know. I don't know. The prices. The prices are too high. iPod Nano just... Another Moab man, really? But, okay, let's see. I haven't really been talking about the gameplay. I'm sorry for that. I'm not really here for that. Shuffle's cool. So the iPhone 5 is beasting. 18% thinner, 20% lighter, 12% less volume. Bigger screen. Still retina. Sexy appearance. The bottom. It's like the speakers look sexy too, man. And it has LTE powers now, which is always nice. It has 10 hours of video playback. To, that's a lot of time. This is this is cool. This is the, you get earpods with iPhone 5. This is cool. This is cool. Okay, so the iPod Touch looks cool. All of that stuff looks cool. I think it's all cool stuff. And. I guess we'll have to see what people are saying about this. It'll probably be good since it's Apple product. The old iPod touches were great, so why does this one have to be bad? It's just a newer update with CD, CD, a bigger uh, touch screen for Nano, CD for iPod touch, sexiness for iPhone 5. That thing is sexy. Look at that bad spot. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Tactical insertion. Well, 
It's the Nav 6 main from YouTube, Nav 6 main from PSN, Nav Mania anywhere, the Maniac everywhere. The Grand Puva signs off off of a long video. And if you're still watching, I love you. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Peace out.